welcome back to the channel, everyone. Yes, I did put on some glasses to look smarter, okay? I want to look good when this gets shown in court. Tonight we'll be drinking Royal Gala and Tropical Fruit with sparkling apple, mango, and passion fruit juice. I mean, this is just the perfect storm of privilege, isn't it? How do you even get a sparkling apple? What, do you get like the poor little immigrant worker to spit shine it on the way out before he delivers it? You know, I actually did some research for this video and apparently in 2015 uh, there was a girl who gave a speech and she completely flipped the script on him and she just went on about how the schools like run like a business. So it's nice to know I'll be sharing a shallow grave with someone. I also found out that to send one child to Ravenswood it costs you $28,000 a year. 28 grand. I say this every time, but what if it turns out that the kid just sucks? It's a very expensive pathway to take, is all I'm saying. At least offer some sort of like six month drop kick guarantee or something. Let's get started. Coming to school, there's such a positive atmosphere and people are more energetic and more excited to be here. Jesus Christ, you must just be a metal detector's worst nightmare. Ravenswood is the first school in New South Wales to adopt a visible well-being approach. You're the first school to have a visible well-being approach? I think you're just the first ones to call it that. What are the rest of us doing? An invisible well-being approach? Like our therapists don't hide behind corners and go, Are you doing good today, kids? Because we have someone who does that and they may claim to be a therapist, but yeah, they're not. The kids in the schools uh, that learn positive education are both markedly happier. This guy looks like he's about to present me with his pyramid scheme. A year and two years later. Oh my god, what a setup. That's, I believe, probably homemade brownies with, I think, raspberries on top. I'm gonna guess it's raspberries. And there's sparkling water. Oh, I hope it's lightly sparkling. None of that regular stuff. Oh. Also, why are they all on wheelie chairs? Just in case one of them needs to duck out quickly. Standardized exams. You teach people to find realistic reasons. I'm sorry, are they teaching stock footage modeling as an elective now? They're called Days for Girls, yes. and that creates sanitary items for girls in need like around the world. And we really love the program because we feel so connected yes. with the girls. If I'm a desperate woman in a third world country, and I can either pick to get my supplies from this lot, who probably make like one product, you know, when we feel like it. Or there's this one kid in Vietnam who bangs out about a hundred a minute. I know who I'm picking. We begin every staff meeting with a what's working well. That's given each of us a bit more insight to each other. Wait, hold up. They're still doing mind maps in the staff room. I don't think I've done a mind map since I was about 10. I like to think that they can't do anything without doing a mind map first. Oh no, the school's on fire! Girls, let's mind map ideas to escape. Hey, use different colours. Now for this next video, you might recognise who's speaking. Good morning, and welcome to everyone attending the Positive Education Schools Association. Yeah, that was the current Prime Minister at the time. He just thought, you know what, the country, it can wait. Ravenswood's got a conference on. I'm passionate about the difference that education can make to young lives. Shut up, you got backstabbed by a potato. We're moving on. Uh, for this next video, they've used some copyrighted music. So um, I'm just gonna get creative with, uh, with the music background. They have a bobsledding team. Where do you even practice? Down the highway? It's even custom suits. Oh, you're kidding. Why did you bring the goggles? It's not gonna snow. Happy birthday to you. Oh, wow. How much you have to pay for that award? I shouldn't say that. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my- What the hell is that? That looks like you got the kindergarten class to just scrape on a whiteboard. Take this seriously, get on the beers. Rapidly, rapidly, get on the beers. That's your civic duty. Beers, get on the, get on the, get on the beers. Oh, everyone's got a dub. I want a dub. I haven't seen fencing yet. Where's the fencing? I don't get it. Where do you buy dubs? Do you buy them in bulk? Can you pick the colour? If you get a black one, is it cheaper? And also, is that racist? Also, these two have figured out how to fly. This one, bit of a dud. Obviously you got it buy two, get one free, I understand. So who 
the hell is Bob and why you wanna kiss him? Ew. I'm a blue eyes white dragon while you're just dark magician. Oof. Is that a pancake maker in the middle? Yeah, mate, that sounds great. Give me a sec, I'm a bit hungry. Anyone seen the maple syrup? I play Pokemon Go every day. I play Pokemon Go. Hey, bucket hats are our thing, alright? Don't try and make poverty cool. Yeah, I'm working yeah. hard every day and every night, but my mom called me and it's past my bedtime. That looks like if Alcatraz got turned into a mental institute. Welcome to Ravenswood. Oh, it's an honour to be here, honestly. And our principles of excellence, respect. All about the respect. We're located in Sydney's picturesque and leafy Upper North Shore. Okay, you can just call it the Upper North Shore. All right, we get it. I would never have described this place as leafy. Oh, what's great about the Upper North Shore? A lot of dead leaves on the ground, I guess. ...and world-class award-winning facilities. Really? Did you have to make it float? Like, we get you're rich, okay? Ravenswood welcomes girls from kindergarten to year 12, including day students, local, rural and international boarders. Essentially, anyone with a big enough bank account? Open arms here at Ravo. Jacks, I'm hoping to achieve a career in medicine. Do you really need to wear the lab coats in class? Uh, the new science labs are absolutely amazing. Oh, okay. This is familiar. I always love how science, you have to have those comically big science goggles. Hold up. Does that one have her name sewed into it? Okay, I can't relate anymore. Sport is so much more at Ravenswood. It is about excellence, striving to be your best, and walking in a perfectly straight line. The opposition will never be able to stop us. If one of us falls, we all fall. Believe in igniting potential and inspiring passion and purpose. Oh, what a spear tackle! Hey, get the Harvey Norman replay! Oh, I'm scared for my safety now. Now, this next video is called Celebrating Our Inaugural Love Ravo Day. Yes, that's right, they have a full dedicated day to loving themselves. <laughs> I would say that's every day, but whatever. Yeah, that, that's real pretty, guys. Wrap it in duct tape. Yeah, real elegant. Damn, we're throwing gang signs out here. For nearly 120 years. I'm sorry, we're addressing her as her worship? It's the mayor of Karinga. Her biggest power is deciding what night's been night. A sculpture today. Are oh, you stupid crane driver? You bloody broke it. All right, get the duct tape. It was designed to capture some of the heart and spirit of our beloved school, fondly referred to as Ravo. Ravo. That's the name you choose? Yeah, what up, Ravo? Ravo sounds like he's in a divorce battle for his kids. The brilliant red colour represents the heart of our school crest, the flame, representing our philosophy. Oh, don't make this whole big speech about it. It's red because you like red. Let's be real. I love the facilities and the teachers. What is this setup? Why are we shooting this like it's a 60 minutes recreation of domestic violence? You can be themselves and there's lots that you can do at Hey, school. why don't you try zooming in? As part of the development of the Centenary Centre, the school's vision was to create a courtyard serving as the central garden space at Ravenswood. Everyone gets an umbrella except the worker. Nice, nice. Tribute to the development of the school through the Ravenswood Commemorative Pavers Program. Their names are engraved in the pavers that can be seen in the courtyard today. What is it with rich people wanting to put their names in bricks? You know what, my house has got a few bricks in it, so if you want to give me 10 grand, I'll let you write in it. Although my fan base, let's be honest, they probably write the N-word. That also provided a range of seating and meeting options. Guys. Why did you put your logo on a bin? You're calling yourselves trash now. Like, leave something for me to do. Courtyard at the heart of our campus. That looks like if God just went, yeah, not feeling spaghetti tonight, throws it over his shoulder and it lands in the Ravenswood courtyard. And then he did it three more times. With the help of two-time Chelsea Flower Show, award-winning landscape designer, Charlie Albone. You know what, Charlie? You're my favourite character of this entire thing. Because Charlie, he doesn't care how much production value's gone into this. 
he's still going to wear his trucker cap and that dirty ass shirt. Charlie, you're a lad. And as I look around this newly transformed courtyard, it is so exciting to have so many parents and so many staff members here gathered together. That is probably the highest ever average GDP I've ever seen in a group of people. And I am terrified. Now, as I was going through the Ravenswood videos, I found that they have a behind the scenes sneak peek video. And I was like, wow, that's an Easter egg. Gotta, gotta check that out. It's an exciting day for our community because we're making our strategic plan video. Sorry, let's just do a head count. That's a bloke with a camera, headphones on for reasons I don't know, a guy with a boom mic, and a guy with a light. And I'm here with a drink. Yes, jump for me, pupils. This extraordinary logistical process has involved so many areas of our school, from our grounds team who are just so dedicated. And oh, the poor grounds team. The groundskeepers are probably qualified to maybe mow the lawn, at worst have to trim a hedge. Now, yeah, just go draw a torch into the ground. Yeah, you'll be fine. Possible to a team of teachers, to a head of marketing and her dynamic team. There's a head of marketing. And not just that. There's a team of marketing experts. Yeah, no idea what she was on about about the school being run like a business. Yeah. It itself has so many layers of meaning. Of course, as a proudly uniting church school, grounded in a strong Christian ethos, we think of Jesus' words. I don't think Jesus ever told the disciples to get in formation for a photo op, you know. Come on everyone, let's stand in position and then we'll fly a raven over the top. We've got an Inspire 2 drone. One of the most important things is safety. Hold up. How is the drone a safety concern? I reckon even if that drone came down hard on the girls, they'd just be like, Girl, stay in formation. All right, here's our final video. And once again, you might recognize someone in this. It's a star-studded car, so I have to say. What excites you about the role? That's Carl from the Today Show. You know, the one who's mates with the block of cash. Look, Carl, you've obviously got a price. So if you know, if you ever want to come on my channel, you just you just let me know how much. I reckon I could get you on here for ten bucks and an Opal card. A very different world um, now, yes. and the girls entering it need to be equipped with mm, a whole lot. They um, do. Equipped with what? A gun? In terms of one-on-one -on -one communication, two things have changed so much technologically. Yes. Uh, technologically speaking. Yes. So so moving forward, having to deal with many things um, on that one-on-one -on -one and also on a group level yes. in terms of communication is a big deal. Yes. And and giving them the confidence to to flourish mm, too. I agree. Mm, yeah, I not an agree too. Jesus, Carl, that sentence ran on for about five months. It's, uh, a vital these days too, is it not? Um, for kids not to get left behind, mm. and, and that's why Ravenswood is a nice that's right school because of the numbers here as well. Oh, is it Carl? Oh, is it? Because you'd know so well. There are other schools that champion that they have bigger facilities, mm. they have bigger halls, they yes. have bigger pools, they have bigger gyms, mm. um, they have bigger everything. Mm. Um, what makes Ravenswood special in its own right? Mm. Ravenswood has all of the above. Um, um, I hope that our Ravenswood girls would leave our gates with a sense of purpose and meaning in their life, that it's not all about them, but they're other person centred. Oh, I love it when they come up with their own little word. What, just being selfless? Can we not use that word? I have to say, if that other person isn't Jesus, it's gonna be a little mad. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe and do all those other things. Real question is though, who are we gonna do next? Bugs Book is the best rapper of all time. Yeah. Bugs sucks, he can't even rhyme.